This is a story called The Little Monsters, Chapter 85, Bumpy's 12th Birthday Party. <coughs> Excuse me. It's almost Bumpy's 12th birthday and all she wants is clothes, some new trainers and some new roller skates. She's seen the skates that she wants. They change from quad skates to inline skates and they have flashing lights on them. The kids ask their parents if they're going to buy her them and they say yeah, but not to tell her. Then Bumpy's mum says to them, there's some clothes in my catalogue and some trainers that she wants. I've ordered her the trainers and some of the clothes. If you want, you guys can order her some clothes too. The kids agreed to this and gave Bumpy's mum their money. However, they didn't tell her that they were having a party for Bumpy. The party was going to be at Stumpy's house on Bumpy's birthday. They chose Stumpy's house because his parents were going to be away until late the next day. Leading up to the party, the kids sent out loads of invitations. On the day of Bumpy's birthday, the kids got to work making the birthday cake. They used flour, raw eggs with shells on, boiled eggs, fried eggs, frozen sausages, frozen peas, frozen chips, milk, water, frozen broccoli, frozen sprouts, old school uniform, old winter hat. <laughs> beetroot, pickled onions and cat food. Then they put it in the oven to cook and got to work making the cupcakes. They used scrambled eggs, poached eggs, salt, vinegar, pepper, old school ties, dog food, cat food, hamster food and rabbit food. Then they put them in the oven to cook and got to work preparing the rest of the food. They cooked the sausage rolls and burnt them. Then they made the sandwiches using ham, beetroot, pickled onions, raw onions, mustard and dolmia sauce. Then they made beef spread sandwiches mixed with tomato sauce, brown sauce, mustard, piccalilli, beetroot and raw cabbage. Then they made chicken sandwiches using chicken roll mixed with dripping, mustard, red sauce, brown sauce and raw onions. When they'd finished making the sandwiches, they started getting all the ingredients together for the punch. However, just as they were doing so, they heard a massive bang, 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 boom, boom, boom. When they looked, the, the oven door had blown open and the birthday cake and cupcakes had exploded all over the kitchen. They all cracked out laughing, ah, 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 ee, ee, ee. Then they picked up the pieces and put them back together with icing. They made the icing using string beans, hand spaghetti, milk and water, and then they got to work making the punch. They used salt, vinegar, apple juice, orange aid, orange juice, Budweiser, Stella, Foster's Bitter, Whiskey, Red Wine, White Wine, Baileys, Advocar, Gin and Snowballs. Then they all got Pumpy's presents and gave her them. Then she went and got ready for their party. About ten minutes after they all got ready, the guests started to arrive. The kids charged them £15 to get in, £10 for food, £5 for a piece of birthday cake, £4 for a cupcake and £3 for a glass of punch. After all the invited guests had arrived, Stumpy locked the, locked the doors and when anyone, when any more arrived, he unlocked the doors and let them in. After about an hour, the party was in full swing and the kids heard a knock at the door. When Stumpy looked out of the window, it was the nosy neighbour. He opened the window and told him to go away. Then he unlocked the back door and all the guests piled into the garden and the music was turned up. About half an hour later the nosy neighbour came over again but this time Stumpy just ignored him and he went away and Stumpy turned the music up. After the party had been in full swing, 
kick it for about two and a half hours, kick us all up the police coming up the street. She turned the music off and shouted, The police are coming, everyone hide. Everyone hid and when the police knocked on the door, no one answered. As soon as they went away, everyone came out of hiding and Stumpy turned the music off. Then he noticed that the punch was almost gone, so him and the rest of the gang made some more, using the following. Advocate, Budweiser, Stella, Heineken, Amstel, Whiskey, John Smith's Bitter, Red Wine and White Wine. The food had already been prepared in advance, so they just put them all out then. Then everyone piled into the garden again and Stumpy turned the music up again. About an hour later, Grumpy saw the police coming again. He turned the music off and shouted, The police are coming! Quick, everyone hide! Everyone hid and waited for the police to go away. As soon as the coast was clear, everyone came out of hiding and the music went up even louder. Everyone was having a ball and everyone was quite drunk, so the kids changed, charged them more for food and drink. The party continued and then the gang noticed that they'd run out of food and punch. They didn't make any more because no one was bothered, so they just brought loads of alcohol up from the cellar. Everyone was incredibly drunk and they were having a really good time. Then Stumpy saw that it was 2am and he turned the music off and asked everyone to leave. He knew that the bins would be emptied that day, so as soon as all the guests were gone, they cleared up the house. By the time they finished, there was no sign that there had been a party. When Stumpy's parents came home, they asked him if they'd had a party, and he said no. However, the nosy neighbour had already spoke to Stumpy's parents, and so had several other neighbours. So they knew that, he had a, that he'd had a party. Stumpy's dad asked him, Stumpy, was there a party here last night? No, Dad, there wasn't, said Stumpy. Well then, why are the neighbours saying that there was? asked Stumpy's dad. I don't know, Dad, but there was definitely no party here, said Stumpy. The neighbours are adamant that there was a party and that the police were called, said Stumpy's dad. There wasn't a party, Dad. Honestly, there wasn't, said Stumpy. I know you're lying, Stumpy. Now tell me the truth, please, son. Was there a party here last night, said Stumpy's dad. I've told you the truth, Dad. There was no party here last night, said Stumpy. Then one of the neighbours came over and said to Stumpy, Tell your parents the truth. There was a party here last night and you know there was because you were all out in the garden. That's not true, Dad, said Stumpy. I know that you're lying, Stumpy, because I have the names and the numbers of the police officers who came out, said Stumpy's dad. Then he said to the others, Go home, all of you. Don't even think about not going home because it's already, I've already spoke to your parents and they're expecting you. Then he grabbed Stumpy and smacked him really hard on his bum. Then he told him that he was grounded for a month and sent him to his room. The rest of the gang were also grounded for a month. Of course, none of them took any notice because every day when their families went out, they went out too. When their families were in, they still went out by climbing out of their bedroom windows. They spent most of their time at the secret hideout and the old skate park. End of chapter 85. Hope you like it guys. Thanks for watching. Love yous. Bye.